Hello YouTube viewers, Sweet Tips here. I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. And today what I'll be doing is I've got some uh, Alaskan Placer Gold. It's little grains of gold. This is from uh, Juneau, Alaska from my good friend Ray. And uh, I normally don't take other people's material into my shop because I only do this as a hobby. But uh, I've known Ray for a while and uh, he was kind enough to send this sample in to me. And uh, what I'm going to do is try to use a new process outlined by him to uh, refine this placer gold into pure gold. All right, the first step in the process here is I've got a clean melt dish here. And I'm going to put it on my scale. I'm going to tear the weight to zero. And then I'm going to take the gold and we're going to dump it right in the melt dish here so we can incinerate it and get a weight on it. right at 31.1 grams one troy ounce of uh, gold plaster gold from Juneau Alaska alright the first step in this process is to go ahead and incinerate this material and the way I'm going to do that is I've got a uh, little oven set up out here it's a Black & Decker toaster oven that I've converted to be used as an incineration oven what I'll do is I'll just stick this in here. This is just a Black & Decker toaster oven that I bought at the thrift store. It was on sale for five bucks. I cut a hole in the uh, top here and put a little cooling fan. It's uh, throwing air down into it to uh, disable the uh, thermostatic uh, device that turns the heat off when it reaches a certain temperature. So I'm blowing cold air. I had to cut a hole in the top of this uh, case here. Put that fan in. While I had the case off, I insulated it all the way around with uh, thermal wool, some ceramic wool. So we're going to try to get the temperature up in there and uh, incinerate this gold and then get going with the rest of the process. Right, the material has been in the oven now for about five minutes. I'm going to get a quick temperature reading on it here. And we got 467 degrees. The uh, Gold has been down in there now for about 20 minutes. That's all the higher I'm going to be able to get. It's about 660. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out now. And what we'll do is uh, hit it with a little bit of flamage here. A little piece of copper wire. A little propane torch, just going to heat it the rest of the way up here. I think we pretty much got everything that's going to incinerate, incinerate it off of this. So, I've incinerated, now I'm going to pour this uh, gold into a uh, 600 ml beaker here. And we're going to get a weight on it after we did the incineration. Let's see what we got now after incinerating. It should be the same. And it's 31.0. 31.0 on the weight now. Now we'll move it over here and put it on the heat and put some hydrochloric acid on it. Now I'm going to put some uh, hydrochloric acid on it. About, uh, I'm going to fill it up to about the uh, 150 ml level there. Now I'll put some heat on it. Throw it up to medium heat here on my burner. Time right now is 3 p.m. We'll just let this sit on here and cook for a while and see what happens. And here you can see uh, what's happening as I uh, hit it with the hydrochloric acid. Uh, some little balls are forming in there. I don't know exactly what that is. Uh, we'll just keep continuing with the process here. And uh, keep you updated on what's going on.
that beaker's been on there boiling now for about 15 minutes. Inside is 261 degrees. We've had the beaker on there now for about 20 minutes boiling in hydrochloric acid. The next step in the process calls for me to take that off the heat, filter it, incinerate the stuff again, and then go to a nitric acid boil. I don't think that's necessary. What I've got here is a uh, pipette uh, calibrated by in one half ml increments. So I'm going to go ahead and add some, I'm going to turn the heat down here. And I'm going to add about one ml of nitric acid to this. Slowly drip it in. And I think we're going to be good just dissolving the gold just like this. I don't see any need to take this back out and do any more incinerations or other treatments. I think we're going to be able to get the gold out of there just like this. I see why we want to add it slowly because there's a it's real hot right now. I only got about half of that in, a half an ml of nitrate there. Add it real slow, drop by drop. I think we're gonna get everything to go in the solution here with just uh, adding the uh, nitric acid to this uh, hot hydrochloric acid and plaster gold mixture here. Should be real easy. Save a lot of time. And there's some solids floating on top of the solution here. If you look underneath, see there's still quite a bit of material on the bottom of the beaker. That I'm going to drop another 1 ml of nitric in here and go ahead and draw, uh, add it to the beaker. Drop by drop here. starts foaming up real good like that I uh, quit adding the acid let it get it have a chance to react and then when it calms down go back in and add a few more drops of nitric acid been on here now for about 30 minutes. I've got 2 ml of nitric acid in there with it so far. I've got another 1.5 in this uh, pipette. I'm going to go ahead and start adding it slowly. See if we can get the rest of this stuff to go into solution. Turn the heat down in there. Right now it's only uh, 166.
beaker's been on the heat now for about 1.5 hours. Temperature says 206 inside of there. What I'm going to do is go ahead and add some more uh, nitric acid. I got uh, 2 plus 1.5 in there so far. This is going to be about uh, 1.5, another 1.5 ml of nitric going in right now. been on here about uh, three hours 40 minutes I'm gonna add a little bit more hydrochloric acid here take a look underneath and see what we got underneath the beaker here we still got some solids there I'm gonna add a little bit more nitric acid to it and see if we can get the rest of this to dissolve this time I'm only, only gonna put in one ml Temperature in here is 152. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit, a little bit over medium, and let this uh, come up to temperature for about a half hour. I've had this uh, on a little bit higher heat now for the last 20 minutes. And I'm going to add one drop of nitric here and see what happens. Absolutely nothing. Temp in there is 226 degrees. I added about five drops of uh, nitric acid to this hot solution. And it fizzed up pretty good, but I don't see a whole bunch of fumes in there. There's still a bunch of stuff on the bottom there, but I don't know uh, what that is. I'm going to go ahead and turn this... Uh, Turn this flame off, turn the heat off, let this cool down. I'm going to filter it out and we'll see what we get out of that solution. Alright, the solution's been allowed to cool now for about half 
an hour. It's down to 89 degrees. I'm going to add a little chunk of ice here and cool it down a little further. Okay, the temperature of the solution is it's down to 74 now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, filter this out and see if we can get some gold out of this. tell you this solution is looking real good here it's nice and clear down here it's filtering easy going through the filter real easy everything out of the beaker now. This stuff was a dream to refine. I put the uh, spray bottle on mist here and I just carefully rinse all the uh, color out of the filter. Got everything filtered now. The fluid down at the bottom of the funnel is clear. The filter is pretty clean. I'm going to save the residue and the filter in this beaker here. And what I'll do is go ahead and pour the gold into this beaker. I'll use some sodium metabisulfite, drop that gold out of the solution there. Came right on out of solution nicely. That should do it. gold settled very quickly it's got still got a little bit of a yellow color to it so what I'm going to do is uh, put some stannous on here and see what we got in solution and the stannous test indicates nothing no precious metals well that stannous test was negative and I'm a little curious now as to what we might have in solution. I've got some ammonium thiocyanate here. I'm going to pull a few granules of that in a spot plate. And then what I'll do is I'll get some of this solution out of the beaker. And I'll put it in there. If it's got if iron, it looks just like gold in solution. And if this is iron, that uh, the solution will turn bright blood red when I put it in here on that ammonium thiocyanate. There it is. Blood red. That confirms we got iron in solution. So it looked like there was still some precious metals in solution there. And I did a status test. It was negative. I put that uh, some of the solution there down in the spot plate with some ammonium thiocyanate. It turned blood red. That confirms I've got iron in solution. So that's what's giving that solution that color. It's iron. I'm going to go ahead and filter the gold out of that solution there, get it into this filter paper, and then we're going to run it back through and refine it again, get it real pure. Well, that was real easy to filter, it took less than five minutes to get all that stuff through that filter.
bit of uh, hydrochloric acid to rinse that gold out. That'll help rinse the iron out of there. It's all rinsed out. What I'm going to do now is uh, put the gold out of the filter right back in the same beaker we took it out of. Filter and everything, put it right back in there. Now I'll add about, uh, I'm going to fill the uh, beaker up to the 200 ml level with hydrochloric acid. Put it over here on the heat, turn it on medium. I wrote down all the additions of nitric from the first time we did this. So we should, it's 11 and a half ml, so it should take about that much this time around. There's 1.5. That's 2. So that's 3.5. That's 2 more. That's 5.5. .5. That's 1.5. That'll be seven. Now I'm going to add another two ml concentrated nitric acid here. That's a total of nine in there so far. Plus I'm going to add some uh, concentrated sulfuric acid, about a half an ml take care of any lead that might be in there. I'm going to add another uh, 1 ml of nitric here. That's a half right there. And another half. So I got a total of 10 in there so far. I got just a little bit of gold left down in the bottom of the beaker here. I'm going to put another half an ml in. Everything's gone into solution now. Took about 40 minutes. I'm gonna take this down off the heat. We'll let this cool off and then we'll uh, filter it out, precipitate it, precipitate out the pure gold. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and filter this out. It's real clear. It's looking good, man.
definitely tell this is going to be some nice pure gold by the clarity of that gold solution there. Okay, I've got the solution filtered now. Got all the uh, gold rinsed out of this filter, but I'm going to save it because there's probably a little bit left in there. Put it in with the other filter here. Now I'm going to transfer the solution to a clean beaker. Now I'll precipitate the gold with uh, sodium metal bisulfite. It's going to be some real pure gold. You can tell by the uh, clarity of that liquid. You can see right through it. Okay, this has been settling. Uh, I let it settle overnight. I wrapped things up last evening and uh, let this settle overnight. The uh, liquid above it is crystal clear. Now I'm going to siphon this off to my stock pot down here. Now we'll get the gold in the filter here. with uh, some hydrochloric acid here. While I'm waiting for this to uh, filter through, I'm going to hit this, uh, this residual stuff back here with some hydrochloric acid and boil it a little bit longer with some aqua regia just to see if there's any residual amount of uh, material left in there that produces some gold. Now I'm going to get the gold filter and everything down into this melt dish. Now I'm going to put some torches on it and do the melt. Do a quick status test on this residue that I got boiling back here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it doesn't look like a whole bunch. It's not a real dark reaction. So I'd say less than a tenth in there. I rinsed the gold off real good with some fresh tap water. And I got it on the stove here drying off. And as soon as it gets dried off, we'll uh, get a weight on it and get a yield. All right, now to get a weight on our gold. Tear the scale to zero. And I'll pour the gold right in here. And we got 16.9 grams. 16.9 grams of pure gold. 
Well, that will conclude the refining of the uh, Juneau, Alaska placer gold fine material that uh, my good friend Ray was so gracious enough to uh, send me so that I could refine it for him. I got 16.9 grams of go pure gold out of it. And uh, there's probably another tenth out there in the residue, but not hardly worth trying to go out there and uh, scrape that together to include it finishing this video here. But uh, anyway, I was able to get that pure gold out of there without uh, going through all those processes that he outlined. It would have taken a lot more time. I've probably got about uh, less than 10 hours invested total doing this entire refining. So uh, it was an easy refine. The, uh, the gold cleaned out nicely uh, under the acids. It filtered easily. It melted nice. And uh, it was a pleasure doing this. So that'll conclude the, uh, the refining video for this placer gold for now. Uh, if you have any comments to leave, please do so. And I, I check those every day. And I'll check those uh, comments and try to get answers for those who have questions. Thanks for watching.